it's the molten Tedon. Yes. Now this is just all molten. There's no regulars. It's just all molten. This this is the molten boss right here. And yes, it can stun the enemies. Hi, welcome back to some more serious gaming TV. And today we're playing Tower Defense. So this game is basically about like you need to defend the place that so so in the beginning it's like you the entrance is where the zombies are going to come out from and then the defense is where you need to protect so if you look at the bottom of my screen it shows my towers and then um okay so yeah um and then and then you basically need to survive until the end of the waves. Um, it goes up to 40 or 30, but we're doing the 40th wave because it's easier. And it gives us more time. Okay, so now what you want to go is to survival. Um, and there are some maps, but I recommend I recommend going to the harbor easy one. Oof. Um. Not. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm 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 gonna do an easy one, and this video is all about the um, like a way to beat molten boss. Uh. Let's see. Okay. So uh, let me show you this before we go in. This is the store. It shows you a couple of things like home. This is this is the stuff. Season of love, Valentine's season. Um, and then a VIP pass with tons of towers, yes. And then this is the shop. I almost got like every single one in the game. Except the shotgunner, the modar, and the accelerator, and the electric shocker. And then we have the emotes, which are some pretty cool dances. Um, and then we have the skins. You just buy them. You just buy them. And then you open them, and then you see what skin you get. And then Robux is just Game Passes, Towers, these stuff. But you don't have to, you don't have to purchase it. The easiest way... The, the best way without Robux is go to rewards and then go to badges, scroll down, and then it, level 100, you got Pursuit Tower. Level 30, you get the Crook Boss. 50, you get the Turret. 75, you get Motor. And then this one, you need to win Badlands which is which in Phelan mode. Yeah, and then and then in inventory is basically the stuff you have like any crates, but I don't have any right now. The emotes. Um this is one of them. This one is another one. Yeah, and then these are crates, like I said. And these are all of the ones I have. They have different skins. I have a lot of mini gunner skins. The best one I have is the Crusader, I think. Okay, so now that we're done here with that section, let's go into a game. Let's see what we got. Let's go take a toy board. Okay, so then I have this friend right here helping me out with this strategy that I'm gonna show you today. Toy board, let's go. Duo, yes, I know. 
Let's go. Yay. Okay, now we're in the game. Oh, someone's trying to do Badlands in the chat. Oh, okay. And we are in. Molten. This is the one that we're going to be doing. And there's going to be another video where we do normal, but we do not know a strategy for failing yet. Um, we put the scouts here, like in the circles, right there. And then, do you see that blue circle? It's the range. There we go. And then upgrade them to level two once you can. You just tap on the troops to upgrade them and then press the button upgrade. Here comes the horde. So this is like the beginning of the strategy so far. And then for the next upgrade, you're gonna need like 300 bucks. So every shot gives you one, like $1. So that, so once once you upgrade a scout to level two, it can see hidden detection. And then if you have another person with you, so I'm gonna put down a truck. It doesn't matter the skin though. Now, since that both that are upgraded, you should have enough money for a sledger. Place it right here in a corner where it can get good range, which is the circle, yes. And then, I'm gonna upgrade it to freeze level. And then keep on upgrading it because we only kind of need like one or two sledgers for this. And Cork Boss. And then once we have this to freeze level, we sh we just place down a lot of mini gunners, cause mini gunners is kind of like the most important thing here, along with the sledger. Oh, and then at wave ten, there is a boss. Cause every, like every little bit waves, there's a new zombie. On wave 10, there's this normal boss, which is, it has like 160 health. But if you sold the one on Phelan, it, it's really hard to kill. And then, and then level three on the sledger, is the freeze level, level three. It has that little ice thingy here. And now I'm gonna start farming in a good area, like right over here in this corner. They cost 250. And mini gunners cost like 2000. They're really expensive, so you gotta kind of farm. And um, the farms give you money every wave. If you look in the corner over here, that's how much money it gives per wave. So it gave me 100 so far. I recommend only putting down six for Molten 
because otherwise if you put too much, it's going to be a waste of money. Oh god. Once you have done that, you can start waiting to have enough money for a mini gunner. And if you look where my towers are to the side, you can see how much money I have. I already have more than 2,000. So I could go and place it down now. A good spot is like right here for the mini gunners. Put right there. And then the hidden level is level two. But some towers are like, you need to upgrade them to like a high level. Like some towers, they have six levels and you need to upgrade them to four to get the hidden detection. The hidden, we just passed the hidden wave because I was over there. And then on wave 19, there's like this summoning thing, hidden right there. So the Nemocroser is like a type of zombie that summons other zombies. It's actually pretty to kill. It's pretty easy to kill, but you need a lot of firepower before more minions come up. second mini gunner. And then my third mini gunner. Right here, over here on this lane, what you saw coming this way, um, those were molten guys on wave 20. And then if you point at them with the mouse or if you like tap them, you're gonna see how much health they have. These are the Moltens. They have like 100 health. And then the Crook boss summons these minions. Like they come out of the defense. Same thing with the truck. Let me go upgrade my farms now. You should at least have them upgraded to like, like the third level. Cause third level gives you enough. There we go, now they're all upgraded. And then I should, I should start upgrading my mini gunners to max. But then right over here, we have our first parachute. You could also call it a helicopter. It's level three right now. It comes with some rocket launchers coming out of the wings. It is better than the airplane in the store. But right now we're only focusing on these towers right now. Speaking of, you should also, you should, at some time you should sell the, the scouts because they won't really do anything anymore. But then once you do that, you could place down a commander. I put down a green commander. A commander last level zero. So commanders are basically like fire rate buff, 15%. Upgrade, upgrade. If you upgrade it to level two, then if you see this thing right here on the top by the side, press that. You heard that? And then, and then they go fire buff, see? 
they're all going really faster. But that thing, he, he also shoots when you press that button there. And now, when you upgrade the mini gunners to level three, they have like two mini gunners, but it's actually kind of one. See? And then over here, he has a tank. The Ender Daddy's tank. 400 health. This is what it looks like when it's level four. These are his farms. This is what it looks like when a crook boss is at max level, which is level four, and you can only place four crook bosses. This is, these crook bosses look like these. The crook bosses minions look like these, like the bodyguards. Those are from level three, these are from level four, simple. Now, the mini gunners, max level cost 9,000, which I'm about to have enough money in a couple seconds. There we go. A max mini gunner in my skin. The basic mini gunner um, in max will come up soon. But right now, I'm gonna go upgrade my farms again. They cost 1,000 for the tree farm, which I think you should purchase no more because it gives you 500 and I think 500 is enough. There we go. Bam, see how much cash. Time to upgrade another mini gunner to max. There we go. So now these, I haven't told you about these. This thing, this one right here is a speedy boss and they go pretty fast. So you need to kill them quick. And that's why the mini gunners are handy with the commander. They always help. And then we have the slow boss, which just died right there. But they they have like 1,600 health, but they're pretty tanky. So, but it's a good thing that they're slow because it gives you more time. We have the shocks right here, which are faster than the heavy, like the speedy boss, but the speedy boss is more dangerous than the shocks because they, because he is tanky and fast. And then we have the mystery boss. It's kind of like a, it's like a kind of like a zombie that when you kill, it turns into a random boss, like a slow boss. Sometimes it can be, all, it can, it's all sorts of bosses, but not the one at wave 40. Okay. And then, and then look, so this is what it looks like, a max regular skin in mini gunner. And then we have, then we have the, the hidden boss, the hidden boss right there. Right there, that, that just died. I don't know if you saw that. Mystery rush wave.
So yes, on wave 35, like as you go through the 30s, on waves 32, they kind of like, cut the, it gets more dangerous. But right now what I'm gonna do is place a sledger right here because I keep getting away from that one. Max level. I have so much money. And this is the mystery summoner. It summons all sorts of bosses. Especially the little ones too. And then the speedy bosses right here, yeah. We should be good. Now I'm gonna upgrade my commander to the max level. 9,000. There we go. They're shooting so fast now. Now I'm gonna focus on putting more mini gunners. On wave 38, it's just a bunch of slow bosses with plenty more stuff. Also, I wanna show you something about the sledger. This is what it looks like when it's at max level right now. Um, and you see that 25 thunder thing, 25%? That's the buff rate. Cause commander with the sledger is OP. And what we have over here is the mystery boss molten kingdom. This it's the final waves of the game. And also, I just want to point out that this is a max military base. Which is over there, right there, right now. Only one, with one military base at max, you should survive the entire thing. With plenty of troops. It's the Molentedon, yes. Now this is just all molten. There's no regulars, it's just all molten. This this is the molten boss, right here. And yes, it can stun the enemies. But don't worry, we're still gonna survive because we have mini gunners. Well, here's one thing that you may not like because the freezers, the sledgers don't freeze the molten boss. So it only kind of hits it, taking big chunks out of its HP. Another one right there. I think we're gonna win. But it can, the molten boss can also summon its own minions. The Molten Tetons just take off a lot of time. All of them are just focusing. Oh wait, you know what, you know what? Ah. Bam, he's dead. Nothing came out of the ground, what? I don't get it. But anyways, that is the end of the Molten Boss. Train fun, yay. That means we won, and you earn 500 coins with a lot of XP. Return to lobby. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.